Efforts to improve child care in New York City received some support today from one of the biggest names in politics. Yeah, former First Lady and presidential candidate Hillary Clinton joined the council members at Columbia University to talk about ways to make child care more accessible and more affordable. The push is more important than ever before after the mayor cut funding to some city services and programs. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Lauren Glassberg. For the first time ever, a majority of New York City council members are women, and they're using their platform to improve child care options in the city. Today, they got some support from Hillary Clinton. We're seeing here in New York uh, the possibility that what was promised as universal pre-K is being uh, cut back, and I know the city council will be, you know, not just talking about that today, but fighting uh, to keep that. Clinton spoke at the IGP Women's Initiative at Columbia University, the goal to generate solutions to make childcare more affordable and accessible. We know that child care on average costs between $18,000 and $21,000 a year. That is simply unaffordable for the vast majority of New Yorkers. Council members like Julie Menon have introduced bills that would implement universal child care, increase affordable after school programs, improve the training of child care workers, and improve their pay. Initiatives that they say would ultimately help the city financially. In 2022, the city lost $23 billion because women had to make a choice. Should I work or should I, should I take less of a pay or less hours to make sure my child is getting um, quality child care? Last year, the mayor cut more than $100 million from preschool programs and youth services. Those cuts are devastating. And you know what? They were not necessary. Today, Mayor Eric Adams says that he's trying to balance the budget and can't print money. We don't want to do anything that's going to impact the success we have shown already in this city. And we want to make sure we do it in a balanced way. But the council members who spoke at Columbia today say investing in child care would generate big returns for families, employers, and the city. In the newsroom, Lauren Glassberg, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.